A fair amount of research has been conducted on the impact roads and railway lines have had on the grizzly population in Alberta. But what about the impact of hikers, horseback trail riders and ATV users? A University of Alberta research project is taking place in the heart of grizzly bear habitat near Cadaman to find some answers. You got a new SD card, new batteries, blank SD card. Uh, and have you got all the other gear together? Yep, it's all in the truck. All right, brilliant. Okay, let's go. Guys. It would appear that not unlike grizzly bears, humans are drawn to specific types of habitat when it comes to meeting our recreational needs. Very little is known about what kind of impact our presence is having on the grizzly bear movements, that is, until now. The basic is two kinds of data we're trying to collect. Human use data along trails in bear country to basically uh, understand how much recreational use is taking place in the area. With support from Alberta Parks, Alberta Conservation Association, the TD, as well as local industry, Andrew and his team are now into their second year of field work. In order to determine just how much activity is present on numerous trails, the team will be hiking to set up more than 60 camera sites scattered over an area that stretches from the borders of Jasper National Park to Hinton, south to Cataman, and then east to Robb. Our first stop was to set up a camera at a higher elevation. One of the challenges we really face with, with this kind of work is, is trying to find locations where the animals are forced to go past your camera. We have had uh, grizzlies on the camera uh, that we're about to visit. They do wander up here every now and again. Got 83% batteries. Now making up the crew who will be spending the next six months checking camera locations is an interesting mix of grad students from far and wide. Sam is from Belgium and has already had a close encounter with a grizzly. I was setting up a camera and I saw a bear just coming towards us. I saw the bear first because before he saw me. So I just made it clear we are humans. I said, hey bear, we are ready with our bear spray. Then he, he saw us, he just took off. So it should be up here. It was also an encounter Samantha, who joins the team from Colorado State University, won't soon forget. We just sort of all looked at each other for a moment. Uh, and then I think the bear sort of realized what was happening and he took off up the trail. But for a while he was coming towards Sam, so we weren't sure. We got our bear spray out and we were ready to, ready to do what we had to do, but nothing, nothing bad came of it, it was beautiful. I just graduated from the University of Rhode Island and came straight here. The wildlife has been spectacular. You're walking down the trails and you see wolf tracks or you see uh, grizzly bear tracks or even just the animals themselves uh, crossing a path. And the scenery, absolutely spectacular. And rounding out the team is Andrew Barnes, who comes from the University of British Columbia. And Andrew brings with him, well, a rather unique talent. To make sure the cameras are set at the right angle, Andrew demonstrates his ability to move like a bear, eh, more or less. I don't know what kind of animal that's meant to be, but it works really well. All right, let's have a look at these. I think it's important to know exactly what's going on with animal populations. So if we just have a rough estimate, that doesn't really do us much, much good for management policies. Whereas if we're using these camera traps and trying to cover as, as wide of an area as possible, we can get hopefully what the uh, population trends are actually, actually doing. And that data will be collected over a three year period. And then Andrew will spend another two years analyzing and writing up his findings, which just may hold a recommendation that suggests we need to adjust our use of critical bear habitat areas. I think it's far easier to, to manipulate our behavior than it is to try and change, change a grizzly bears. So Mary, why don't you give us your impression of that bear walking through the woods? How about I don't, Michael? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs>